Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today, oh, I forgot to introduce myself. For those of you that are just visiting my YouTube channel for the first time, my name is Kelechi Okore and I share helpful Canva tips on this channel. So today I will be showing you guys how I was able to create this. Okay, it's a double exposure effect. But my own methods, it's different to maybe the ones that you might have seen. So the dimensions I used for this was 1080 by 1350. That's an Instagram portrait size. This is it, 1080 by 1350. Now I'm going to open this. Here is it. This is it. This is what I want to show you. Now I'm going to go over to a blank page. Now the first thing I did was I went over to photos and then I searched for a woman. Now, just for us to be fast, this is the particular image I used, this one. So, I'm going to remove the background. That's the first thing. We remove the background of this image. Wow, this image is really nice. And we're just going to wait for it to successfully remove. Remember, you cannot remove a background if you don't directly from Canva if you don't have a pro account okay you can use remove the BG okay that it's free but if you have a pro account you can remove it in Canva just like I did here now I'm going to just crop out some parts this image is really really beautiful so 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 beautiful a lady on a red blazer so we have an image the next thing i did was go over to edit image come to dual tone and then select an uh, effect that is very dark so mono fits the category and that's the one i used mono apply i know when we talk about background removal we'll talk about the one in canva and then the one from an external website like remove.bg but those um those sites will not do it for me like what exactly i wanted to do here it's not going to give me what i want so i used an app called background Eraser. i'm going to show you how i was able to do that how i was able to achieve it and the background eraser We'll take away this um this part out like the face of this lady and then the body you're not going to see it so i'm going to show you how i was able to do that in no time able to remove the image background okay so it's not um i didn't use remove.bg because it would not give me exactly what i wanted and i didn't use the background eraser to background removal tool in canva now here's what i used i used background eraser it's an app that you can get on play store okay and it's free so click on it and you'll see a page like this go over to load a photo and select your photo i use this one you can see the image okay the dual the image with the dual tone effect and the white part so this is our image now I click on done because i don't want to crop any parts here this is it now i'll go to auto color when i go to auto color i'm just going to move it this part where you have the photo i'm going to move it inside and yes okay so it's i successfully removed the part that i want to take off and when i'm done with that i'm going to click on done over here at the top right and that's all then you can save it and use save it and upload back into canva to continue right now when we're done with that successfully upload it into canva question new page go over to uploads now this is the result this is it increase this increase this and then remove this okay so it doesn't interfere with the background now that we have We've successfully removed the face and the body. All we have is just um this 
shadow looking image here now the next thing i did was go back to photos and search for city that was city and they gave me a whole lot of options this is the particular one i used i'm going to drag this from this point over to this point and it's and then lock it so this it's what we're getting there will still be done like i said it's not that difficult it's very easy to do now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to look i'm going to get the original image which is this i'm going to copy this thing is beautiful the image the photo is just perfect bring this down paste it here Just going to increase till it fits perfectly. So this is the image. Now I'm going to reduce the transparency from a hundred to a thirty. See, <laughs> it's easy. Now we have a double exposure effect right here but we are not done we can just leave it this way now the next thing i did was download this okay i downloaded this um double exposure effect i made it as a png file not a transparent file download it you can download it here and upload it back into canva and this is what is going to give me it is this i'm going to bring this here and then go over to edit image remove the background so now it's going to take away the white parts of please if you're yet to subscribe to my youtube channel you can do that now and if you're getting any tips to restore this because Apply. So I'm waiting for it to finish loading. Now I just took away the white part off. So now you can just change the background, change this. And it's still going to look great but we're not done if you notice if you notice here there's an outline effect i'm going to show you how i was able to do that but first let's change the background now I went over to photos and search for white background this is the particular white background I use. Just drag and drop it here. Oops, drop it here. And then this image, this city image, increase it, increase it. The weight, the back. And then reduce the transparency from a hundred to five. Lock it. So to get an outline effect, I went over to edit image. Okay, let me show you how I did um, this text right here. Now I went over to elements and located frames here. Okay, search for C. So I'm looking for something stylish and this fits the category. So we have a C here. Search for later I this it's so stylish then see this later t and then y this y
So we have C I T. So we have C I T Y that's C T. Now I'm gonna drop some images inside, and this is the image I used, still from C T. Drop it here, drop this here, drop this here, and then this here. So just have to make sure they are properly aligned. So we have CT, lock this, make sure it's in the middle. Just the side, just a bit. Take it all the way to the front. So to get an outline effect, I went over to not do it done, shadows, click on glow. So click on glow again, and then change this color from black to white, reduce the blur to zero, increase the size. There is no blow. Yep. Okay, so reduce the size. I think 13 or 14 should be okay. Then click apply. And now we have our double exposure effect with an outline effect. And I'm just going to copy this girl from here and then paste it here. Copy this, paste it here, copy this, and paste it. And voila, we have our CT Girl double exposure effect. If you know you found this tutorial helpful, please like or drop a comment. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. So that'll be all for now. See you next time.